In the meantime, patient transfer from the main building at the Cornwall Regional Hospital started today as scheduled. While it was unclear how many patients have been moved so far, TVJ News has been told the transfer is ongoing at this moment. It is expected to be completed on Saturday. The patients are being moved to the Falmouth Hospital in Trelawney and in renovated accommodation on the grounds of the Cornwall Regional Hospital. A total of 100 beds were occupied in the main building at the hospital before the transfer began. And Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton is this evening dismissing calls from the opposition for him to resign as minister. Opposition spokesman on health Dr. Dayton Campbell says the minister's inaction and admission shows that he is incapable of handling such a sensitive and critical portfolio. TVJ's Anthony Lugg reports. The war of words continues between opposition spokesman on health Dr. Dayton Campbell and health minister Dr. Christopher Tufton over the handling of the crisis at the Cornwall Regional Hospital. The opposition is insisting the minister should resign immediately, arguing that he's incapable of safeguarding the health of staff and patients in the western region of the island. The minister having placed the workers and patients at Cornwall Regional in an environment where a report states that there are carcinogens within the building, there are moles and other stuff within the building. I think it's a gross dereliction of duty. I think that the minister has participated in gross negligence or incompetence and that he should immediately tender his resignation if he fails to do so. The most honorable prime minister has to relieve him of that position today. But Dr. Christopher Tufton has dismissed the criticism, saying he's not fazed by the call. He believes the comments are strictly political. I am still trying to determine why that call is necessary, except to sensationalize the issue, which is, frankly speaking, unfortunate, because in all of this, it's not about PNP or JLP. It's about the people on the ground. It's about the provision of critical services, which the hospital has been doing. And it's sad that what appears to be happening is leveraging the unfortunate circumstances around this facility to gain political mileage. So, you know, I, I, I dismiss those calls. It's not the first time since the crisis at the Cornwall Regional Hospital, the minister and his counterpart have been at it. Just this week, both Dr. Campbell and Dr. Tufton held press conferences addressing the crisis at Cornwall Regional. And weeks before, there was a squabble about whether the opposition got permission to tour the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Anthony Log, TVJ News.